Have you ever placed a fly in a closed jar before? If you have done that, you will observe that the fly will try to fly out, but it won't be able to do that because of the limitation placed over it. The same illustration I used can happen to a man in the spirit realm when the enemy decides to place a limitation on his path to his destiny fulfillment. That is the main reason you have to take the prayers you will pray now with all seriousness and purpose in your heart. Don't be scared of the devil's devices because God has made you triumph over them all. Let us pray together in faith. Father thank you for making your child walk in the reality of being saved and redeemed from sin and its consequences. Father thank you for giving your child total victory over all the devices of the enemies. I decree over your life that you are never limited in every ramification. I pray over your life that everything that is causing you sorrow and pains be taken away from your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that there is breakthrough, favor, and progress for you. Please pray these prayers for yourself and do that with faith. I decree that I am never limited in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. I nullify all the plans of the enemies to make me go round in circles. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all barriers on my way to my progress placed by enemies be removed. I decree that all stones placed as stumbling blocks to my progress become stepping stones to my progress and promotion. I decree that I attain heights my parents could not attain and I get to places my parents could not get to. By virtue of the anointing of God upon me, I decree that all yokes of limitation placed on me be destroyed in the name of Jesus. If the grave could not hold Jesus captive, I declare that the forces of darkness will never hold me captive, and I begin to showcase the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I break free from every evil pattern in my family that wants to affect my progress in life. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate all the plans of the enemies to make me get depressed and have suicidal thoughts. I use the blood of Jesus to erase all marks of limitation. The enemy has placed on my destiny in Jesus' name. I renounce all limiting words I might have said to myself in the past in the name of Jesus. I decree that my life is hidden in Christ, and nothing shall ever limit me because nothing hindered Jesus. I decree that I will never live a wasted and unfulfilled life on earth. I fulfill purpose and destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I lift all the siege the enemy has placed upon me that is limiting my progress in life. I decree that the enemy will watch me as I fulfill my God-given destiny and purpose. The word of God remains absolute for me, and nothing can ever separate me from the will of God for me. There is no limitation for me in the work of my hands. My business flourishes. In the name of Jesus, I declare that there is increase for me in all that I do. I labor little, but get bountiful results. The word of God says I am the head and not the tail. I decree that I live and act as the head in everything I do in the name of Jesus. I decree that no one will withstand my promotion and progress in life. I declare that I will never know poverty in life. In the name of Jesus, I call forth accelerated promotion and progress for myself. By the power of the name of Jesus, I run with the speed of the Holy Ghost, and I soar high above the storms of life. Lord, your word says that you will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I decree that I achieve great things in life, and my enemies watch on as it happens. I decree that no problem overwhelms me and makes me stranded in life in Jesus' name. I declare that all the ploy of the enemies to make me look wretched will be frustrated in Jesus' name. I decree that I begin to walk in all that God has given to me when he died and rose again. Begin to thank God for answering all your prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We have this confidence that whenever we call on the name of the Lord, he hears and answers us. He assured us to always call on him when we are in trouble. The devil hears the name of Jesus and trembles, and even demons hear the name of Jesus and come out of their strange places. It is time we put the name of the Lord to use. He is never tired of hearing our prayers. Let us pray. Father, I thank you because any time I call on you, you hear and answer me. Father, thank you for disappointing the craftiness of the evil ones so that their hands cannot perform their plans. Father, thank you for always making me victorious. 
I declare and decree that I have overcome the forces of darkness that has evil plans for me. In the name of Jesus I send forth the arrow of God to scatter the association of demons against me and my family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter the plans of the forces of darkness against me and my family. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no enchantment and spell of the enemies will affect me and my family in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over me and my family. I decree that the enemies begin to flee before me in seven ways. By the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy every root of evil in my family. I decree and declare that the enemies are put into utter confusion as they plan to hurt me and my family. In the name of Jesus I destroy every altar the enemy has erected to project evil into my family in Jesus' name. There is grace for me to always be ahead of my enemies. I outwit them in the name of Jesus. Every evil projection of the enemies into the year will never catch up with me and my family. I decree and declare that there is an escape for me and my family out of the snare of the evil ones. In the name of Jesus I trample upon the heads of all my family enemies. I declare that I am never short of weapons to use to counteract the weapons of the enemies. In the name of Jesus I am free indeed, and I am not fearful of all enemies plotting my downfall. I pronounce blindness upon my enemies, not to see ways to use to attack me and my family. In the name of Jesus I decree that my family and I can never be scared of the device of the enemies. I decree that there is safety for me and my family. In the name of Jesus I decree that all members of my family put on the whole armor of God, and they are safe from every attack of the enemy. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies find no peace wherever they are. I pronounce God's judgments upon all enemies troubling my family. I decree that I am never tired of laughing at the defeat of all of my family enemies. There is breakthrough for my family in the presence of my enemies in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I scatter every association of the forces of darkness, plotting my family's shame and disgrace. In the name of Jesus, I decree total rest of mind for my family, because we rest in God's love and not the enemy's plot. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I decree that there is total deliverance for my family. In the name of Jesus, I decree that my going out and coming in is safe. I decree that the enemies are confused as to implementing plans that they will use to attack me and my family. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I have a discerning spirit to know what the enemies are planning against me and my family in Jesus' name. I scatter all confederacy of the evil ones plotting to frustrate God's plan for my family and me. I plead the blood of Jesus over every member of my family. I decree that I can never be disgraced publicly by the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I decree total salvation of every member of my family. I pronounce peace, progress, prosperity, success, and good health for me and my family. In the name of Jesus, I uproot every plant God has not planted in my life and family. Begin to thank God for answer to your prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When it comes to demonic prisons, you are exempted from them because you have been set free over 2,000 years ago. But the sad part is that you might still be in one prison or the other either by the activities of the powers of darkness or by your own self. The victory that you have been given by Jesus when he died and rose the third day needs to be enforced because the only language the kingdom of darkness understands is violence. Prison might come in disguise as curses, stagnation, poverty, embarrassment, lack, disgrace, and anything that is contrary to the will of God for you. The Word of God made it clear to us that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The power to make yourself free from every limitation the enemies have placed on you is in the power of your tongue. We will be making these powerful prayers together to seal the victory that was handed to you by Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago. In the name of Jesus, I pull you out from every demonic prison in name of Jesus. I hereby decree that you will not be limited by anything. You are above limitation in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 102 verse 20 that the Lord will hear the groanings of the prisoner to set free those who were doomed to death. I pray for you that the Lord will hear your cry and he will set you free from destruction in the name of Jesus.
Roman II pull you out of every pit the enemies has placed you in. The valley that you are in will become a mountain right now by the power in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says that the Lord will break yokes off your neck. I pray for you that all the yokes that are limiting your progress in life are removed off your shoulders in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the forces of darkness that are sent to put you in prisons that will impede your speed in life in Jesus' name. Ezekiel 34 verse 27 c says that the Lord will deliver you from those who enslaved you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will deliver you from the hands of your oppressors in the name of Jesus. The Lord will break the rod of your oppressors in the name of Jesus. I release the judgment and wrath of the Lord upon all the prison wardens of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Nahum 1 verse 13 says, So now, I will break his yoke bar from upon you, and I will tear off your shackles. By the power in the name of Jesus, the yoke that is upon you will be broken this instant, and your shackles are torn off. You will no longer be a prisoner of the forces of the wicked ones, and you will no longer be a lawful captive in the name of Jesus. I decree that any force of darkness policing your life around is arrested by the angel of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Whoever the Son of Man has set free is free indeed, since you were set free over two thousand years ago. I hereby make effective your freedom, and I decree that you have come out from all the evil prison that you have placed yourself in, and the ones the wicked ones have kept you in the name of Jesus. You will sing a new song out of every prison the enemies have kept you in the name of Jesus. I drown all your stubborn pursuers in the Red Sea in Jesus' name. All limitations that you have placed upon yourself by the words of your mouth are nullified right now. The love of God will be the banner that will distinguish you from all other prisoners of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the wicked ones that have sworn not to eat and drink until they see you under their oppression. The angel of the Lord will fight against all the wicked ones that have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that there is freedom for you in your finances. You will no longer work hard, but have nothing to show for it. I pull you out of every pit that you are in by the ladder of grace in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that you will experience freedom in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. We bless your name, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. When the devil attacks you, you have this assurance that you are secured under the mighty wings of the Most High. There is no cause to be scared of the devil's attack, because God is on your side. He that is with you is more than they that are against you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for making me more than a conqueror, and with this, I know that I am ever victorious. I also thank you for always neutralizing the attacks of the devil against my life and family. Father, your word makes me to understand that you frustrate the plans of the devil so that their hands cannot carry out their enterprise. I give you the praise for always disappointing the plans of the devil against my life. I am ever grateful, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray that the devil and his cohorts begin to get confused on their strategy to attack my finance and marriage. I decree and declare that the devil has no hold over my destiny. He has lost his grip on me in Jesus' name. I decree confusion to the camp of the enemies, and their plans is put into null and void. In the name of Jesus I decree that I am never caught unaware by the plans of the enemy. By the power in the name of Jesus, I am not a prey to demonic attacks in Jesus' name. I hide myself under the wings of the Almighty, and I decree that I am safe and secure. By the efficacy in the blood of Jesus, I cover my life and family in Jesus' name. I decree that I am not struck down by the devil's arrow shot against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy all the devices of the enemies against my family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter every confederacy of the kingdom of darkness against my life in Jesus' name. I declare that no enchantment against my family will come to pass in Jesus' name. I pray that you arise, O Lord, and scatter all my enemies that are in the north, south, west, and east. I decree that the wrath of the Lord to be kindled against the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I summon the host of heaven to rise up in war against the forces of darkness that are bent on frustrating God's plan 
for my life to come into fruition. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that demons will tremble when they see me, and they are brought to their knees when I call on your name. In the powerful name of Jesus, I recover all that the enemies has stolen from me. I pray that you plead my cause against them that strive against me. I pray that you arise for my help. In the name of Jesus I pray that you make a way in those ways the enemy has blocked. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I erase the marks the enemy has placed on me in Jesus' name. I decree that every arrow of depression and distraction shot at me be backfired right now. I pray that you prove your almightiness in my life, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus I pray that the plans of the enemy to put me into shame and disappointment be aborted. I declare that the plans of the enemy to attack my faith be cancelled. In the name of Jesus I declare that I am loved of God and nothing makes me think otherwise. I call on the fire of the Holy Spirit to consume every strange altar the enemies has raised to use to orchestrate attacks on me in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I set myself free from the shackles of the enemies. Every siege the enemy has placed over my life and family be lifted in Jesus' name. I declare that I renounce every limitation I have placed over my life by my negative confession. In the name of Jesus, I lose myself free from every chain limiting me. I decree and declare that I jump over barriers and blockade on my way to fulfilling my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the attacks of the devil against my finance will be turned around for my good. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pull myself over that pit of self-condemnation and self-pity. I decree that I am not an object of pity. I am a person of honor. Begin to thank God for answer to your prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. The truth many Christians are not aware of is that the devil does not want them to enjoy a blissful marriage because he knows that the family is the bedrock of the church, society, and country at large. If there is turmoil in families, it will reflect in the church and country one way or the other. That is the foremost reason you have to be conscious of the devil's devices against your family. The Word of God says in James 5 verse 7 that you should submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. One sure way of resisting the devil is by speaking the word of God to counteract all his devices against you. You have the authority in Christ because he has given you the power to declare a thing, and it shall be established unto you. Join me in faith, as we vehemently resist all his devices, by saying these powerful prayers and decrees. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness gathered to frustrate your marriage are put to shame. The word of God says in Job 22 verse 28, you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your paths. I decree that your marriage will never be attacked by the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I decree that whether the devil likes it or not, your marriage will fulfill God's agenda for it. By the power in the name of Jesus, I cancel all negative pronouncements the enemies have said about your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I hide all the members of your family under the secret place of the highest. You are all safe from the devil's attack and manipulations. In the name of Jesus, I draw a bloodline round about your family. I decree that there is no entrance for strangers to infiltrate into your home. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree that the Lord will be the portion of your marriage in the land of the living. I decree that all the enemies of your marriage that come in one way against you will flee before your eyes in seven ways in the name of Jesus. By the grace of the Lord that is at work in your marriage, I decree that the grace of the Lord will disgrace the devil and his cohorts who have devised confusion for your family. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace and serenity to every storm the enemies have sent to your family. I pray for your family that the wicked ones will never see the end of your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your family will experience the glory of the Lord in wonderful and marvelous dimensions. I speak forth order to every chaos in your family, in the name of Jesus. I decree that anyone that the enemy has planned to use to cause disunity in your family is exposed this moment. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will not be an object of mockery to the enemies. I pray for you that your mouth will testify of the goodness of the Lord in your marriage. In the name of Jesus, 
I pray that you will enjoy the partner of your youth. You won't fall prey to the hands of strange men or women. I decree that the fire of the altar of your family will never be extinguished by the powers of darkness. I decree that you are sensitive to the devil's devices targeted at your marriage. You will know the plans of the enemies even before they carry them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of the wicked ones against your family fall to the ground this instant. In the name of Jesus, I decree that only the will of God will stand in your marriage, and there is nothing the devil and his cohorts will be able to do about it. It is an aberration for your marriage to fail. I decree that your marriage will never fall short of the will of God for it in the name of Jesus. I decree that your marriage will be immersed in the goodness and mercy of the Lord. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the members of your family are for signs and wonders. I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The kingdom of darkness is highly organized, and they are all out to wreak havoc in the lives of people that are on the Lord's side, like their master. The main aim of dark powers is to steal, kill, and destroy. The Word of God says in Ephesians 6 verse 12 that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Our battle is not a carnal one. We are not wrestling against normal humans who sometimes perpetrate evil. You should know that we are battling the forces of darkness that are influencing these people in carrying out their mandate which is to steal, kill, and destroy. We will be casting down all the devices of the dark forces against your life. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the devices of the wicked ones against you are destroyed. The word of God says in John 1 verse 5 that light shines on darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. I pray that the light of God will expose all the darkness that are surrounding you and your family in the name of Jesus. I render all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones against you, and your family useless in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you from dark powers shall prosper, and I decree that all their divination, enchantment, and incantation against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. James 4 verse 7 says that we should submit to God, we should resist the devil, and he will flee from us. I pray for you that you receive the ability to always submit to God and to always resist the devil in Jesus' name. The Bible says in 1 John 4 4 that you are from God, and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I decree that you will always overcome the devil and his minions gathered against you in the name of Jesus. I cancel all the agenda of the wicked ones against you in the name of Jesus. As you call on the name of Jesus today, you will be saved from all the wicked ones that are plotting your downfall in Jesus' name. The word of God in Exodus 14 verse 14 says God will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Today I decree over your life that the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will put on the whole armor of God so as to withstand the wiles of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus. I stand upon the word of God, and I decree that your victory against all the powers of darkness is sealed and complete in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Lord will make all the dark forces operating in your life and family uncomfortable, and the fire will make them come out from their hidden places. Whoever the Son of Man has set free is set free indeed, since Jesus Christ set you free from the grip of the devil over 2,000 years ago, you will no longer be entangled with any yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 that the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. I pray for you that the Lord will always strengthen you and will continually protect you from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Luke 10 verse 19 says you have been given the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I pray for you that you will keep on trampling on the powers of darkness, and they will not hurt you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will contend against those that contend against you, 
and will plead your cause with those that strive with you by the power in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 that the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. I therefore pray for you that the Lord will make all the forces of darkness that are fighting against you to be defeated right before your eyes, and all the wicked ones that come against you in one way will flee before you in seven ways in the name of Jesus. You are more than a conqueror against all the forces of darkness around you and your family in the name of Jesus. He will always know the truth, and the truth will always set you free from the grip of the devil and his cohorts. I decree that all the pits that the wicked ones have dug for you will not be fallen into by you in the name of Jesus. We bless you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Demonic strangers are agents of the devil that infiltrate your home without prior notice and are on the mission of destabilizing your life and your family. These strangers are bent on imposing the will and the agenda of the devil in your life and family. You have to stand your watch against the plots of demonic strangers in your life. The power to come against the devices of the devil is in your tongue. Use the authority that you have been given in the name of Jesus to send strangers packing in your life. The word of God says in Psalm 18 verses 44 and 45 that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their closed places. Strangers do not have the choice but to obey your order. We will be using the name of Jesus to come against all strangers that want you to be stranded and limited in life. Let us pray together in faith as we put these strangers back in their place. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all strangers that are subtly attacking you and your family are exposed and disgraced. By the power in the name of Jesus, I send all strangers in your family packing. The word of God says in Psalm 59 verse 1 that the Lord will set you securely on high away from those who rise against you. I pray for you that the Lord will set you on high far above all the attacks of strangers in Jesus' name. I pray for you that all the pieces of machinery that are used against you and your family are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Psalm 41 verse 2 says, Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purposed to trip on my feet. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you from the hands of the wicked ones, and he will keep you from the violent ones in Jesus' name. The Lord will keep you from the strangers that want to plunder you and your family in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus round about you and your family in the name of Jesus. And I decree that the strangers will see the blood and pass over you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will recompense evil to all evil strangers fighting against you and your family in the name of Jesus. You will not be torn by the teeth of the wicked strangers sent against you and your family. The word of God says in Psalm 121 verse 7 the Lord will preserve you from evil. He will keep your soul. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord will preserve you from all the evil strangers that are surrounding you and your family. I decree that the Lord will pull you out of the net which the evil strangers have placed before you in Jesus' name. 2 Samuel 22 verse 49 says, Who also brings me out from my enemies, you even lift me above those who rise up against me. You rescue me from the evil one. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will lift you up against those who rise against you. The Lord will hide you from the secret counsel of evildoers and from the tumult of those who do iniquity. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all strangers that are disguised as friends are exposed and arrested. The good Lord will deliver you from all your enemies that want your family to be in confusion and chaos in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 21 verse 11, Though they intend evil against you and devised a plot, they will not succeed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will put into null and void the plans of the wicked ones against you, and their plans will not succeed in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord will be your refuge and a tower of strength against the enemy in the name of Jesus. Even though you walk in the midst of trouble, you will be revived 
and the Lord will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of strangers fighting against you in the name of Jesus. No matter how many strangers are gathered against you, you will not be afraid, but you will be strengthened in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When Jesus died and was buried, a big stone was placed over his tomb so that he will not come out of it. The enemies thought that God could be held down by a big stone. They have forgotten that he is the Lord of the elements, and nothing can hold him captive. The tomb which was like a trap could not hold Jesus a prisoner, he came out victorious. Did Jesus win the battle against grave and death for himself? No, he didn't do that for himself, he did that for you and me. This implies that you will come out of all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. You are more than victorious, and you can never be held captive by all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. Rejoice because your victory has been sealed already over 2,000 years ago. I decree that your soul escape as a bird from the traps of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you come out of every prison the enemy have placed you. If Christ could not be held captive by the prison of death and the grave, I decree over you that you will never be held in bondage by the prison of the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that your finances will escape the prison the enemies have placed you. I decree that you will come out stronger and better as you come out of every prison the enemy has placed you. By the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that your glory that has been swallowed by the grave comes to life again in Jesus' name. I decree over you today that you will never be limited by the prison of the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that your destiny will reject being trapped in the prison of the wicked ones. The Word of God says in Isaiah 49 verse 9 that you will say to prisoners that they should go forth, and to those who are in darkness that they should show themselves. I decree that you will cause men that are in captivity to come out of their bondage, and you will be a light to those that are in darkness in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all members of your family. I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you and your family from captivity. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray over you that all the good things that belong to you that have been buried in the grave are resurrected right now. The word of the Lord says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I decree and declare that you have escaped the captivity of that strong man in your family and you will never be a prey of the terrible in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never be held hostage by evil police. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that your light break forth and show you a way out of every dark tunnel in your life. I decree and declare that you will be a herald of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ like the way Apostle Paul was. The Bible says in Zechariah 9 verses 11 and 12 that God will set prisoners free because of the blood of his covenant. I pray that God will set free any member of your family that is in any form of prison by the power in his blood. I decree over you that you will be above all the limitations and barriers the enemies planted on your way to fulfilling your destiny. You will always be victorious and ahead of the enemy's propaganda in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 42 verse 7 that God will appoint you as a covenant to the people and a light to the nations to open the blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. I pray over you that you will be a covenant to the people that needs light, and you will open the eyes of those that are in perpetual darkness, and you will cause those that are in dungeons to escape their captivity in Jesus' name. I decree that all prayers we have prayed today are answered, and you come back with bountiful testimonies in Jesus' name, we have prayed. The forces of darkness work tirelessly so as to frustrate your effort. They want you to work like an elephant and eat like an ant. As children of God, we are to be discerning enough to know the will of God for us as regards our finance. Do not be a party to those who think they are comfortable struggling financially. You have to take what is rightfully yours. Do not give place to the devil and his cohorts to frustrate your financial input. Join your faith with mine as I make these prayers and decrees over you and your finance. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you 
that you will not labor hard and not get tangible results from your labor in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in 3 John 1 verse 2 God wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. I decree that you will prosper in all ramifications in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus that you walk in financial freedom all the days of your life. I bind all the powers of darkness that want you to go around begging before you eat. In the name of Jesus, I come against the evil ones that want you to remain in the valley all the days of your life. The Word of God says in Isaiah 1 verse 19, If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be willing and obedient, and in turn, you will eat the good of the land. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the wealth that God will give to you will never bring sorrow to you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will be head and not the tail in all areas of your life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He that gives you the power to get wealth. I decree that the power to get wealth is released to you, and as you make wealth, you will not forget God in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will walk in financial prosperity and abundance. You will lend to nations, and you will never borrow. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be helped and favored by God and by men. The Word of God says that he that is planted in the courts of God shall flourish and still bring forth fruits in their old age. I pray for you that you be planted in the courts of God, and you will still be productive even till your old age in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will get a divine revelation that will turn your finance around in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Egyptians that troubled you financially yesterday will not be seen no more by you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all that the enemies stole from you in the past are returned in sevenfold. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not lack help when you need one. The Word of God says in John 10 verse 10, the devil came not but to steal, kill and destroy. But the Son of Man has come to give you life, and to give you more abundantly. I decree that you will walk in the life that God has breathed in your finance in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be blessed, and you will also be a blessing to others around you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a prince that will walk. You will ride on chariots. I decree that you will be ahead of the wicked ones that want you to beg from them before you eat in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter all the forces of darkness that want to frustrate your business or your job. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be stranded financially in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Brethren, I encourage you to keep on praying and studying the Word of God. Only through these will you seal the victory you have in Christ Jesus. God bless you.